What is up, everyone? And I am going to give you a little breakdown of the dish I made, which was a short rib rigatoni. And yes, I have my CD 101.9 voice on for you today. <laughs> and if you've been following me, I just want to let you know this inspiration came from me going to the best Michelin star restaurant in the Bronx. This is Roberto's restaurant. And I am so thankful because I was inspired to recreate this dish, which was a short rib pasta that he made. And I felt like I was in Italy taking a bite out of his dish. And I wanted to remake that in the way, um, as my little gift, my little gift to Italy. And I started off with my short ribs. And I'm realizing people, let me just tell you, salt and pepper is all you need on your meat. And as black people, you know, we like to season, you know, that onion powder and garlic powder sticks to us like glue. But I'm realizing all you need is salt and pepper. So what you want to do is braise the short ribs. And I like to get mine nice and brown, as you can see. I added some garlic cloves to add that butter, like add that garlic flavor as well. At least just for, for the first uh, set of what I like to do. And as you can see, you see how brown that is? You want to get it as brown as possible. I love my cast iron. And you guys have been following me for a while. You know my cast iron is like my man. And I just wanted to start that off um, with braising the short ribs. And all I did was apply salt and pepper. Next, for my newbies, if you have never been on my page, I want you to know your negative comments will definitely be clapped back. Um, because this is my page and I make my way of making my short ribs and you do your way. But anyway, here's how I decided to make my short ribs this time. Usually, I don't use too much of a tomato base, but for some reason, I felt like um, I wanted to try something different with the short ribs. So I created a tomato base, which at the end, you'll see what it looks like. This is diced onions. This is diced garlic. This is also sun-dried tomatoes or, and also um, actual tomatoes and tomato paste. So I caramelized all of that, and it looks like a tomato sauce right? But it's not. Remember, it's just all those ingredients caramelized and a base. So I add that to my braised short ribs. And I also have some whole onions and still the caramelized uh, garlic cloves from the cast iron when we braised the short ribs in the very beginning. Now, again, usually I just use um, the onions, garlic, and just the beef broth with some salt, pepper, um, added to the base, but I wanted to do something different and I'm okay and I'm allowed to do that. So don't come for me. I added the beef broth and know that you can use beef cubes as well. I prefer box broth because it's just much more easier and I don't have the time to do all of that. Then I added my fresh thyme to the pot and then I let this cook for about three and a half to four hours, medium low low medium temperature and that's my boyfriend who i love adding to all of my short ribs this is my pinot noir he never leaves me he's very loyal um and, and you know we love a loyal man but we also love a good loyal wine that we're loyal to now this is what the short rib look like after marinating for those hours and i want you to really get a good look at this because let me tell you something um, I have invested in a selfie stick, but I love bringing the camera to the pot. I, I do have a selfie stick. It's just sometimes I really want you to get a good look at this. The meat was falling off the bone, okay? I like a long head, thick red bone. This is like what it was. You saw that the meat was shredded and I needed two hands to shred the meat, but I wanted you to see how tender that meat was when I slow cooked this for three and a half hours. The slower you cook the meat, the better it is. And if you've been following me, you know what time it is. It is plate game, all right? Don't play with me. Play Nintendo, play Tetris, play with your mama, play with your baby, play with your daddy, but don't play with me. I added some Parmesan cheese to this, and I could have added, you can add any kind of cheese and don't get it twisted. 
You know, any kind of cheese. Some people add shaved parm, which I could have did as well. But I had Parmesan cheese in my fridge, and I didn't feel like going outside. But this was the finishing product of my short rib rigatoni. Don't forget to follow that page. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, definitely leave it in the bottom. If you are negative, you will be blocked. It's 2024. Grow up. See you next time.